Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV at EBA Day 2024 in Lisbon and I'm joined by Neil Clark, CGI, and Peter Hazu, Microsoft. We're talking about cloud-based managed services and the benefits to banks of payments outsourcing. Welcome to you both. Hello. Thank you. Let's start off with a definition. I'll come to you first, Neil, if I may. What is meant by payments outsourcing in the cloud? Yes, good question. Um, it can range from the full business process outsourcing, support for operations for the bank's back office payments uh, systems, but, but more typically it would be looking at support for the, uh, the infrastructure, the, the, the software and the hardware, uh, maintaining that for the bank, ensuring that it's all up to speed with regulations, uh, software fixes and so on, and, and taking a lot of the pain away from the bank's payments operations. Mm, and there is a lot of pain to take away. Would you want to add to that? Yeah, I think it's a, there's a deeper element to it. I mean, it's not just about hosting in a different data center. I mean, self-evidently it is. But, but it's a deeper approach to the change of business models and operating models that are really an imperative for the future of banking. The need for banks to modernize the technology, but do it in a very cost-effective way and do it cloud-based. So much of the world around us that we live in is cloud-based. It's the new technology. It's not just about purely cloud hosting, but with very, very good applications like what CGI has, it's really about how to transform and modernize the bank's approach. And you touch on some benefits there. Um, Neil, if I come back to you again, why should banks choose this approach rather than invest in their own in-house solutions? Yeah, I mean, it's a good question again. Um, I mean, it's very topical here at EBA Day in 2024 with the regulation, instant payments regulation that's out in the market now, uh, banks are suddenly scrambling around to, to comply with that. So compliance is, uh, more rapid compliance is, is, is certainly a reason to choose to move to an outsourcing model for payments. Um, so instant payments also looking at the, the DORA Act that's coming in, more operational resilience. So you know, using a provider to provide some more support for that is, is a good one, but also as a stepping stone towards legacy modernization, as Peter pointed out, it's a really, good way of looking to modernize legacy systems within your bank, moving to a more modern platform and then moving payment rails to that over time in a more structured and secure fashion. Well, I mean, speed, the speed of change in our lives, in the economy, for clients of banks and the, the need for banks to move uh, really uh, demands a different approach. Traditionally, the, the build and many banks have homemade built systems. Keeping each of those updated, modern, with the latest requirements, uh, as Neil refers to, from a regulatory point of view, or from a, an infrastructure point of view, market infrastructure, ISO, real-time payments, et cetera, et cetera, uh, kind of uh, conspires against building everything yourself when there are such good applications out there that are evergreen with modernization and fit for purpose, and I know we'll talk a little bit more about the future of where this is going, but fundamentally the cost to move to um, OPEX from CAPEX and heavy CAPEX for investments in building, I think that's one of the big changes, and frankly it's, it's overdue. There's a lot of new technologies, cloud being one of them, that all um, have an impact in terms of this trajectory. And I'm going to pick up on what you said, the future of where this is going. Neil, how do you see, if we put on our future glasses, how do you see the payments and the bank services outsourcing space developing? I can only see it increasing. Um, the fact is that uh, payments become more and more commoditized, core payments. Banks will want to do more with less, and I think using a cloud provider for that is, is certainly a good option. Regulators are much more on board with this now. Um, we've seen how um, infrastructure providers such as Swift are using cloud-based uh, services now more and more, I know with Microsoft in particular, um, and um, we've seen how, you know, slightly under poor circumstances, but how the Ukraine banking system moved all its infrastructure to cloud to run their operations really successfully, you know, once the, the, war, the war started. So I think it's a, an effective choice for, for banks going forward, uh, you know, in, in, in payments in particular. And you're talking about this being an effective choice. What haven't we discussed? What else should banks be considering? 
And I know that's a massive question, but if we could just so, hone on one or two no, things. No, it, 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 it's a massive question, but it's right at the heart of modernization, which is exactly what the industry is going through. Payments are not about the widget. It's not about the payment. It's about the data that is contained therein. So the whole data element and the need to have more modern systems that can support the data and can also surface up insights about the data. There's a lot of new technology as we've seen with generative AI and co-pilots. There's so much going on now that just the, 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 the dross of, of just building a system that you know, is by some kind of project plan from some years ago, because it takes years to build these systems, it really misses the direction of how the market is maturing. Customer expectations are utterly different these days. Um, bank customers, be they retail, obviously we've seen a lot of that, but also very much on the wholesale side, the B2B space. Customer expectations are completely different. They want their payments handled efficiently and effectively within what's uh, required from a compliance point of view, but they also want the insights from the data, and that's a super, super big area. That's really what the payment industry is all about these days. So speed and insights. Yes, exactly. Lovely, Peter. Thank you so much, and Neil, great to have you here on our sofa. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Great, great pleasure, thank you. Mm -hmm.